Hi guys, my name's Doug. Welcome to My Messy Garage. In today's video, we're going to be looking at my lower unit on my Force 120 horse. Back when I rebuilt the fuel system, I think I mentioned that I was going to be doing a lake test at some point in the, uh, in the near future after we got the fuel pump fixed. And uh, the lake test didn't quite go as I had intended it to. You'll see in this uh, video what the result was and what caused it. Um, I'm not going to get too far into the repair this time around. This will be a fairly short video, but uh, in the next one, I'll take you through the steps that I use to get things put back together. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this and uh, we'll catch you in the next mess. I'm back from the lake test, but something's not a very good sign. As you can see, a little bit of a problem with the input shaft. This is supposed to be solidly attached into here. I'm going to guess that this top bearing somehow managed to uh, pack itself in and shoot the lower unit input off so step one we're gonna have to get this looks like a nut down in here that we're gonna have to get out of there somehow and then figure out what other carnage there is on the inside now the good news is when this uh, lower unit's in neutral the prop uh, the prop seems to spin just fine so I'm gonna guess that uh, there's not anything too wrong with the bearings that support the prop shaft but definitely I would say we've got a little bit of a problem here so my plan A to get this fancy nut out of here was uh, taking a one and an eighth inch socket and cutting it so that it fits down into the four teeth that uh, are on this big nut however I thought I would take a cold chisel and see if I could you know give it a few taps and see if it would start turning it's much easier to uh, take it out that way than it is to hack into a uh, socket and then I noticed that this fits down into the groove Let's see if I can pick the camera up here and show you it fits down into the groove almost perfectly so let's put the socket on there and see if we can get this thing to turn. Deep 12 mil socket seems to fit on that chisel just about perfect. And I don't know whether this is gonna work or not, but we'll give it a try. Nope. Well, it doesn't seem to work. Well, we'll try giving a little talking to. That is not a good plan. That nut is uh, rather fragile. I guess we might have to go back to using this. I managed to get the uh, retaining ring out of there. Kind of broke it a little bit. The good news is I found one online for all of about seven bucks. Not a big deal. And uh, the prop turns fairly good. I don't feel too much damage other than the fact that that top bearing is spinning uh, it seems to be welded right to the shaft so I think we're gonna have to do a little bit of surgery here to uh, pull the uh, the innards of this lower unit out through the back but um, hopefully it should be just a matter of getting a new bearing and a new nut that I broke and a new drive shaft which Mm, that's the cheapest one I've found so far is a couple hundred bucks, but at least it is available. Anyways, uh, let me continue with this teardown a little bit. I'll bring you back when I made some progress. So the prop came off with no problem. Just took a wrench to it, or a, uh, a socket on there. And I tap this retaining ring out of here. I loosened it up. Well guys, I think we're going to end it here. 
Uh, as you can see from this picture, I did get everything apart and uh, way down in the belly of the gear case, things don't look like they're in too bad a shape. You can see a little bit of uh, corrosion in the aluminum around the top. I think there was some water in here at some point. Uh, but the gears, the bearings, all of that stuff looks like it's in really good shape. Uh, too bad that the upper um, bearing was in as bad a shape as it is. Anyways, check back for the next video. I'll uh, take you through the process of how I got this thing put back together and uh, back in the lake. Thanks a lot for watching.